pour notre poêlée de champignons d'automne. So for our autumn mushroom fry with wild berries, tasting of the earth, we're going to need some mushrooms. So we've got some grisé, some baveux, some sanguin, and some big puffballs, and some farandoleurs, as we call them. For the sauce, we need some juice of lamb, some truffle juice, some chicken stock to season and bind the truffle soup. We'll also need some olive oil, ground pepper, some port and cognac, so the olive oil, this ground pepper, and as I said, the port and the cognac, and some bay leaves, some shallots and an onion. So now I'll show you how we decorate the plate with the burned bread flour to present the plate rather nicely. So using a little cream, un décor comme ça. I decorate the plate this way. Voilà dans lequel on va dresser notre assiette de And champignons. Here, I'll set up my dish of mushrooms with this burned bread flour, which will give a kind of earthy taste to the mushrooms. And it will remind you of the taste of crusty country loaf. So for the soup, I'm going to need an onion, a few bay leaves, the shallots, and a crust of bread. Pour lier la soupe. The crust of bread will bind the soup together. I need a shallow frying pan, a touch of olive oil, since we're going to let the soup simmer whilst I'm doing the fry up. A little butter too, because the mushrooms don't go well with olive oil. So the taste of butter is preferable. Once you've got a nice color, you can then add the mushrooms and get them to sweat. And then I add the chicken stock to bind it all together. And then you flambe it all with a little cognac and port. A little bit of white wine now, just to give a hint of acidity to the mushrooms. The milk and the cream, and just a dash of meat juice. I prefer lamb juice because uh, it's more aromatic for mushrooms. For a mushroom fry, I need a little butter, about this much. And to make sure the butter doesn't burn, just a drop of olive oil. So we sweat the mushrooms, which take some time to cook. The pieds de mouton, the cep, the chanterelle. So, the mushrooms are underway. And our soup is beginning to simmer, so to bind it and give it the flavor I want, I'll add a little bit of burned bread powder. And I'll leave it all in the oven for four to five minutes. Now we have to finish off our mushrooms by salting them just a little bit at the end and sweetening them too with a little chicken stock which also adds a taste of saltiness. And I'm going to deglaze with a little truffle juice and uh, some lamb juice. 
What I really enjoy about this is, first of all, that I, I, I actually gathered these with Madame Martin in the early sunshine, and then to find myself in front of a frying pan, and then tasting and remembering the smells around Madame Martin's property, and then finally the dish itself, which will continue its history. And this is what makes me want to imagine and create sensations out of all the very simple things that take place in the kitchen and, and in life. I make a base on the plate, like this. I'm going to need a few slivers of truffle. Like that. A few drops of truffle oil. And olive oil. With a little twist of pepper. And to accompany the soup, we have this. <coughs> there was a time when people made soup just with water and flour boiled together. So, here is our autumn mushroom fry with burned bread powder and a slice of leftover bread with truffle and its cream of mushroom soup to savor some autumn evening.